where is my video there it is hello everyone happy thursday welcome to exercise with exos i feel like it was just thursday and we just did a workout together and now we're we're back for another another fun workout i'm gonna give everyone a minute or two to hop in we're a little early oh it's it's 12 i'm just gonna go ahead and get started breaking down the workout and then um, we'll we'll go ahead and get into that warm up. It's kind of a long workout, so I do want to get started right away. So today we are going to be doing a ladder workout. So with that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to start with two exercises, and we're going to do those two exercises all the way through, and then move on to the second set. So we have four sets of exercises today. First one we're going to do for all of these. Actually, the pattern is going to be 50 seconds of the first. 10 seconds of the second, and then we're gonna do 40 seconds of the first, 20 seconds of the second, and then 30 seconds of each, and then 20 seconds, 40 seconds, 10 seconds, 50 seconds. So we're gonna build down of the first exercise in time, build up of the second exercise in time. So don't worry, I'll tell you what we're doing, how long we're doing it for as we go through, but that's gonna be the um, setup for the ladders today. And we're gonna alternate between upper body and lower body. We do not need any equipment, but if you would like to use like weights for anything that we're doing today, feel free, not required, but you can do whatever you would like. So first two exercises we're gonna do, we're gonna get those glutes firing up. We're gonna do squats and then squat pulses. So feet shoulder width apart. Just gonna go ahead and do regular squats here. So we're gonna do 50 seconds at first. And then when we get to the pulses, we're going to stay in the bottom half of that squat. Okay. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom here and we're squeezing the glutes until we're about halfway, then right back down. So we're just pulsing between the bottom half of the squat. So it's going to start out a little easy with 10 seconds, building up to 50 seconds of that one. And then the second thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get on the ground for push-ups. So what we're going to do is two different types of push-ups here. We're going to do regular push-ups. So that's going to be the first exercise. I'm going to be doing these from my knees. You can do them from your knees as well, if you would like, or you can challenge yourself, do them all regular, but starting off doing push-ups. So lowering yourself to the ground, squeezing through the chest, pushing back up. And then we're going to go ahead and get into that pike position, down dog, whatever you'd like to call it. And we're going to do push-ups this way. So our glutes are in the air on our toes, back is flat, bringing our head in between the hands, pushing back up. So we got two times of push-ups there. And then we are going to flip over onto the ground, onto our backs. And we're going to do some glute bridges here. So we're going to have our feet about shoulder width apart, pelvis tucked, core nice and tight, squeeze the glutes all the way up, back down. So we're just going to be all doing the glute bridges. And then the second part of that is gonna be a hold. So once we're done with that 50 seconds, holding at the top for 10 seconds. So squeezing the glutes, keeping one nice straight flat line, and then going back to the, the bridges and then holds, working down of one up of the other. And then the final things we're gonna do, we're gonna do bent over Ys and bent over Ts. So for the Ys, we're gonna be making a Y, of course, um, but bending down forward, arms straight out ahead, doing those Ys, and then straight into the Ts. So making a T, I know we did these yesterday, but you can never get enough bent over Ts. So arms straight out to the side like that. So we're making a T. So those are gonna be our four sets of exercises today. Again, we're gonna do all of one, move on to the next one, all of the next one. So that's the schedule for today. So we can go ahead and get started. And also if you get lost at any point in time, curious about what the workout is, you can always check the chat. So thank you, Louise, for throwing that in the chat for us. And I will be leading us through, letting you know how much time we have left and everything. So getting started with our warm up, going to start off with the world's greatest stretch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my right leg. I'm gonna scoop my right knee up towards my chest, bringing it as close as I can. And on the exhale, stepping back into a reverse lunge, back leg nice and flat, hands on the inside of that front foot. And on our next exhale, we're gonna open up towards that front leg. So left leg is in the front, left arm is towards the ceiling, gazing past that thumb, keeping our back leg nice and straight. And we're gonna exhale, place that hand on the outside of our foot, push ourselves up into that hamstring stretch getting our face and our body as close to that front leg as we can, feeling that stretch all the way through from the calves all the way to the glutes. 
And exhaling, bringing the right foot next to the left foot. We're gonna stand on up. Wonderful. All right, same thing now on the other side. So grabbing my left knee, scooping it up towards my chest. Big inhale and on the exhale, bringing that leg back into a reverse lunge, hands onto the inside of the front foot. And we're gonna exhale, bringing that right foot now or the right hand up towards the ceiling, gazing past that thumb. Back leg nice and straight, feeling that stretch through the hip. And we're gonna exhale, place that hand on the outside of the front foot, push ourselves up into a nice hamstring stretch. And on our next exhale, bring the left foot next to the right foot. We're gonna stand on up. Awesome. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our upper body a little bit more warmed up so we can come to the other, the bottom side of your space. We're gonna go ahead and go into a forward fold, bring those hands towards the ground, and we're gonna walk those hands all the way out into a plank position. So we're keeping that core tight, back is flat, a little bit of a glute squeeze here. And from here, we're gonna do a couple planks of pike. So we're in that plank position. We're gonna push our glutes up into the pike, just like our pike push-ups, and back down. We're gonna do this a couple times, flowing through at your own pace. If you wanna stay at the top for a little bit longer, go ahead and do that. Get your shoulders stretched out a little bit, but also warming those shoulders up by pushing ourselves up. And wherever we're at, let's go ahead and do this one more time. So last one here. And then when we get back to the plank, we can make our way onto our knees and we are ready to go. So if you need to stretch anything else out, you need to feel free to do that. But like I said, this workout is gonna be a little bit longer. So I do wanna get started right away so we have enough time here. So remember, first thing we're doing squats and pulses, 50 seconds of squats, 10 seconds of pulses, then 40 seconds squat, 20 second pulses, so on and so forth until we're doing squats for 10 seconds and pulses for 50. So gonna go ahead and get the timer started. We're ready to start off with our squats in three, two, one, and go. So our feet are shoulder width apart. We're squatting down, squeezing the glutes as we come up. Our core is tight. Our back is nice and flat. We also wanna make sure our chin is slightly tucked so that way our neck is in line with the rest of our back. And we are letting those knees track on the inside of the second toe, pushing the ground away from us, heel, big toe, little toe. Making explosive movements, pushing the ground away from us, squeezing those glutes. Making sure we're not forgetting to breathe because it is also important to do so. Great job, you guys. We got 10 more seconds. Now we're going into those pulses. So we're working in the bottom half of the squat. Three, two, one. So we're pulsing. So all the way down to about halfway, squeezing those glutes. We're gonna feel it a little bit in those quads. Two, three, two, one. Back to regular squats. So now we're doing 40 seconds of squats and 20 seconds of pulses. Great job, you guys. I know my quads are already on fire. <laughs> we got just gotta keep pushing through this. Doing awesome. Really squeeze those glutes, making sure we got the heel, big toe, and little toe on the ground, pushing away as we stand back up. It does help if we exhale as we stand up with that explosive movement. We got pulses in three. Two, one. So staying in the bottom half of our squat, squeezing the glutes. These are gonna get harder every time. The squats are gonna get easier. We're doing good. Keep pushing. Going back to squats in three, two, one. All right. We're almost halfway there. The squats are gonna get easier after this one. The pulses are gonna get a little harder. That's okay. We're doing awesome. Squeeze those glutes. Push the ground away from us as we come up. Keeping our core tight, our back nice and flat. We got pulses in three, two, one. Staying in the bottom half of those squats. Really making sure that we're pushing the ground away from us as we squeeze 
the glutes. We're not coming past halfway. We're just staying in the bottom half of the squat. Great job, you guys are almost there. Push through the burn. Three, two, one, full squats. Oh my goodness, okay. We're doing really good, we got two more of these. And then we're gonna go into our push-ups. I already can't feel my legs. Great job, you guys, keep pushing, keep pushing. Squeeze those glutes. We got pulses in three, two, one. We're pulsing for 40 seconds here. Great job, you guys. Squeeze those glutes. Keep our feet planted. Try and focus on not how bad it burns, but on how good we are doing. So you guys are doing awesome. I know these are tough. If you need to shake out your legs a little bit, do so. We got one more round to go before we're on the ground for push-ups, and then our arms are gonna be on fire. We're gonna wish we were doing these again. Just kidding, we're probably not gonna wish that. All right, last round here, three, two, one, full squats for 10 seconds. Make the most of it. This is our last round here. Three, two, one, final round of these. Making sure our back is nice and flat, our core is tight. Shake it out if you need to. We're staying in the bottom half of our squat here. Keep pulsing. We're going right into the push-ups when we're done here. I know these are tough. You guys are doing awesome. Keep pushing. We got push-ups here in 20 seconds. And you can again do the push-ups from the knees or the toes, whatever is available to you today. Final few seconds, keep pushing hard here. Three, two, one, and we're down for push-ups. So making your way to the ground, you can either be, again, on the knees or on the toes. We're keeping those hands directly under our shoulders, pushing the ground away from us. If you need to take a few seconds, to let your chest recover. Count to three in your head and then get right back to it. Awesome job, you guys. Keep pushing. We're almost there. We got pike push-ups coming up next. Get in that in three, two, one. Glutes in the air, bringing your head in between your hands, three, two, one. Back to regular push-ups. If you want to practice that eccentric motion too, you can slowly lower yourself to the ground and get up however you need to once we start to really not be able to contract our chest as good as we could the first time, right? When our arms are fresh, it's a little easier to push ourselves back up. But when we're on our knees, making sure our core is tight, we do want a straight line from our knees, hips, and shoulders. All right, pie push-ups in three, two, one. Glutes in the air, head coming in between our hands. Core is tight, back is flat. As always, exhaling as we contract. Three, two, one. All right, push-ups. Great job, you guys. We're about halfway there after this one. So keeping the elbows nice and tight. Making sure that our elbows are not directly out. We want them about 45 degrees. Closer to the body to help protect our shoulder joints. We got pike push-ups in three, two, one. Glutes in the air, head in between your hands. Push the ground away from us. Back flat. 
core nice and tight. Awesome, keep pushing. I know this is a tough workout. Maybe we'll get a little solace in those glute bridges. Great job, everyone. Three, two, one, and back to push-ups. Push-ups are gonna start getting easier now. We got 20 seconds of these, and then we'll do 10 seconds. And like I said, we got glue bridges coming up next. Three, two, one, pike push-ups. My shoulders, feeling it. No, y'all's are too. Especially if you were in my class this morning, we did lots of shoulders with the dumbbells. But as you all know by now, delts are my favorite. So I can't be upset about it. Great job, you guys. Keep pushing. We only got one more round after this, and then our shoulders get a break. We're back to the lower body. Three, two, one. All right, last round of push-ups here. It's gonna go by real quick. Try and get in as many as we can. Push yourselves a little harder. And we're already back to pipe push-ups. Told you guys that 10 seconds was gonna fly by. As always, if you need a little break during this, count to three and keep going. Give yourself a little pause. Or count your favorite number if it's under 10. If I say count your favorite number and your favorite number is 100, well, that's not gonna fly. Count to three, count to five. We're gonna keep pushing. The time's gonna go by fast. It'll be over before we know it. We got glue bridges coming up next. So we're gonna flip right onto our backs. Keep breathing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Three, two, one. All right, on our backs, we're doing glute bridges, 50 seconds. So we're squeezing those glutes and we're keeping our pelvis tucked. So our core is nice and tight here, getting a nice squeeze through the glutes. You really push through those heels, make sure we get nice and even with our hips, our knees, and our shoulders. So aiming to get as high as we can. We don't wanna to get too high. That's when we start to arch the back. So we're squeezing the glutes. You need to place your hand on the glutes to help you remember to contract them. Highly recommend that. You guys are doing great. We got holds coming up in three, two, one. Holding at the top. This is gonna be our easiest hold. Keeping that pelvis tucked. Three, two, one. We're going again. So straight up bridges here. Squeezing those glutes. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Our knees are just like with squats are gonna be kind of more over, not over our toes, but we do want them to be kind of pointed out a little bit to really get that adduction here, or abduction, sorry. Great job, everyone. Get a nice glute workout in here. And then we're doing the Y's and T's after our glute bridges, and then we'll cool down and get on with the rest of this wonderful Thursday. Oh, sorry, we're holding, sorry. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was just talking to you guys. We're holding, we're holding, 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 holding. That's what I get for talking. You know me, three, two, one. All right, back to bridges here. 30 seconds of each. I guess that's what I get for being a chatty Kathy. If you guys know me, you know I can talk forever. And I won't pay attention to the time. So I gotta keep myself focused on our time here so we don't miss it. All right, keep squeezing here. We got a hold coming up in three, two, 
one. All right, we're holding. So again, keep that core tight. It helps to engage your core if you pretend like you got like an apple sitting on your stomach. You're gonna crush that apple with your core. And we have one nice straight line, shoulders, hips, and knees. Feet are planted in the ground, squeezing through the glutes. We got 20 seconds of bridges in three, two, one. Okay, we're going again. Go wheezing. My glutes are feeling it. Great job, everyone. It's gonna be a quick round of glue bridges. Three, two, one, we're holding. So again, feet are planted. We're crushing that apple with our stomach, keeping that core engaged. It does help engage it a little bit more too if we really focus on that exhale. So instead of focusing on how bad your legs are shaking, <laughs> focus on exhaling. So we're focusing on that exhale, really engaging the core with each exhale, squeezing those glutes. If you need to keep those hands on the glutes, make sure they're squeezed, do that. We're almost there. Keep pushing, keep holding. We got this. All right, last round. Three, two, one. All right, we're going. So we're doing glue bridges, squeezing all the way up. This is gonna go by really fast, you guys. Three, two, one. We're holding. Last hold. After this, we're gonna get up. We're gonna do this bent over Ys, and then we got bent over Ts. So now that our glutes are tired, can be a little bit harder to hold those T's in the Y's to hold that position. So if you may need to, we can go ahead and go onto the ground with our face down, laying on our stomachs and do the same thing and get the same muscle recruitment out of that. So if we start to feel that bent over Y's and T's in our low back instead of our legs in our upper back, then we're gonna go ahead and move to the ground. So our core, engage, crush that apple, everyone crush it, crush it squeeze those glutes. We are almost there. We're getting ready for this bent over Y's our first. Three, two, one. All right, we're hopping up onto our feet. Great job, you guys. I know that one was tough on the glutes, but we're back on our feet, pushing those hips back. If you were in Luis's stretch break earlier, it's exactly the movement we're doing here. We have our glutes, our push back. We want a nice bend in the knees as well to really make sure that we are not, that we're not um, feeling this in our low back. That's really the main focus here is squeezing through the shoulders and the backs of the shoulders. So we sh don't want to feel this in our low back. Again, if, if you start to feel it in that low back, go ahead and lay on the ground face down and do the same movement. All right, three, two, one, and T. So pinkies up towards the ceiling, palms are facing us. Squeeze through the backs of our shoulders here and bring those arms up. And we're switching over to Y. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was talking yet again. Keeping our back flat, squeeze those glutes, keep our hamstrings engaged if you need to. Do a little wiggle, do a little wiggle, count to three, count to five, right back into it. And I'll show you guys right now, if you're starting to feel that in your low back, go ahead and lay on the ground just like this, face down and lift those arms straight up. So if you're starting to feel that in your low back, I don't wanna put any extra pressure or you can do it from your knees where you're here. So those are our two options here to make sure our low backs, we're doing T's now, sorry. So for the T's, if you're on your stomach here, arms straight out to the side, lifting up as high as you can, squeezing through the backs of the shoulders. Great job, y'all. Three, two, one, back to Y's. We got 30 seconds of each, and then we're gonna be about halfway done. So our pelvis is tucked. Our core is nice and tight to help take off that pressure from our low backs. And again, if you need to wiggle around a little bit, wiggle around. Thumbs are up towards the ceiling. We're making a nice Y here, just like we're doing the YMCA. Great job. Three, 
two, one, and tease, pinkies up, palms towards us, lifting our hands until they are roughly parallel. I'll show you this angle here. So lifting those arms straight up until they are parallel with our shoulders, parallel with the ground. You guys are doing great. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't forget to breathe here. All right, three, two, one, and we're back to Y's. We got 20 seconds of Y's, and then we got 10 seconds of Y's, and then we're gonna cool down. So we're almost there. Keep those shoulders engaged here. So shoulder blades are pulled down and back like we are cracking an egg in between our shoulder blades continually. So we're continually, and we're switching over to T's. Sorry. We're cracking an egg or squeezing an orange with our shoulder blades at all times. We're making a lot of orange juice here. We're squeezing through the backs of our shoulders. So we should start to feel this in our rear delts, which is right here on that shoulder. Back is nice and flat. We're doing great. We're almost there. We got one more round of this and then we're gonna go ahead and get into a nice cool down here. Awesome job. Keep pushing, almost there. Last round here in three, two, one. Last round of Y, it's gonna go by really fast, you guys. Shoulder blades are tucked. Three, two, one. All right, T's, 50 seconds, last round. Count to three, count to five. Right back into it. Squeeze through the shoulders. This is a really good movement for posture. Helps our upper back be a little bit stronger. Really making sure because we are sitting at the desk, standing at our desks for the majority of the day. So this is awesome for all of us who have computer or desk jobs, which is all of us in this Zoom right now. Great job, y'all. Keep pushing. We're almost there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, one, and we are done with that circuit. All right, you guys, we, like I said, that was a pretty long workout. So we only got a few minutes to do a nice cool down. So get, it, get some water if you need to, okay? Take a nice deep breath. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way onto the ground on our hands and our knees. And we're gonna do some child's pose, okay? So we're gonna get on our hands and our knees. We're gonna start to slow our breath down here. And bring the glutes towards the heels, walk the hands out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out our low back a little bit too. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna start with my left side. I'm gonna walk my hands out a little bit towards the left as I get into that child's pose position. So walking the hands to the left, sinking back into our glutes, forehead, chin, or cheek onto the ground. And we're taking nice, big, deep belly breaths, really feeling our low back expand here. Getting a nice stretch through our back, through the side. One more big inhale. And a nice long, slow exhale, really slowing our breaths down here. And we're gonna come up a little bit and walk those hands all the way over to the right side now. And same thing, sink our hips back, forehead, chin, or cheek to the ground. Really slowing our breaths down, getting that heart rate down, letting our body tap into our parasympathetic nervous system. And one more big inhale here. And slowly exhale, feeling our body relax. We're gonna walk our hands now up into center and do some regular child's pose. So we're gonna do three breaths here. Again, making those inhales a little bit um, shorter than the exhale. So exhale a little bit longer than what we're inhaling, doing nice three big, big deep breaths here. And let's go ahead and do one more big inhale.
And from here, we can come up onto our hands and our knees, and you can return to seated kneeling or standing however you'd like to finish out this workout. But great job, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I know that was a tough one. You guys all did awesome. Um, don't forget, we do have another stretch break at 2.30. So I know Luis is always really good about making sure we stretch out whatever we worked on today. So I'm sure there'll be lots of glute work in that stretch break later. We also do have abs, core, and mobility with Brittany tonight at 4.30. So don't miss out on that for some little extra core work. And we do have some classes tomorrow as well. So we got 7 a.m. sport performance and a 12 p.m. foundational functional fitness Friday. I feel the burn too. Great job, you guys. Um, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their Thursday. And thank you.